Hey, party season is among us. At least I think so. The weather's getting warmer and it's time for graduation parties and weddings and bridal showers and swim parties and end of school parties and all kinds of stuff. So if you're hosting any of these events, then this video is for you. Hey, I'm Teresa. This is Celebration Elevation and I'm going to tell you the top 10 things that I think you need to know before hosting your next party. And I think if you follow these 10 pieces of advice, your party will go smoother and you will have less stress. And who doesn't want less stress, right? Okay, so let's get started. Number one, the parking. Okay, so a lot of people forget about this, but when you're in your party and you're having a good time and everything and people are driving around your block trying to find a place to park, you have no idea until somebody finally comes in and tells you, there's nowhere to park, people are driving around, double parking, parking in your neighbor's yard, whatever. So let's prevent that. One of the things you can do is, first of all, move your cars into your driveway or your preferably into your garage, and then next of all, your driveway. So get your stuff off the street. Then you wanna also talk to neighbors, and first of all, tell them you're gonna be having a party on this such and such day, I'm having a party, it's gonna start at whatever time, don't worry, everybody should be gone by whatever midnight or whatever time. And also, if they are close neighbors, then ask them, can you move your cars off the street that night? Or maybe even can guests park in front of your driveway? Or maybe even can guests park in your driveway? So just kind of depends on if these are nice neighbors or not so nice neighbors. Or, if, or I should say friendly neighbors. If you know them, maybe take them some brownies and ask them for these things before. That's your number one. Number number two, refresh the outside of your house. So what I mean by that is mow your lawn, blow off the walkway and your porch, any leaves or anything like that. Then you want to remove any dead plants. So you don't want it to look like your house is a little pet cemetery. I'm sorry, <laughs> pet cemetery, well that's bad. Plant cemetery. Don't make it look like a plant cemetery. You know, we actually, <laughs> speaking of cemeteries, we have five and a half acres and we have a little cemetery in the very back of our property. And it's not our cemetery. It was a cemetery that was there from the 1800s, but it's a little area that's not, it's on our property, property but it's fenced in. Nobody visits it, which is kind of sad, but I've gotten off track. Okay, back to number two, which was cleaning up your yard. Another thing is you want to make it look inviting. So put some new pretty flowers in pots on your porch or on your walkway. And if you have like a bench or any chairs on your porch, get some inexpensive throw pills or just throw pills from your house and put them on the porch because that always makes it look kind of homey and welcoming. I always like that touch, that little touch. Number three is make a clear place for people to put their coats and purses because you have your nice clean house and people are coming and you're so happy because everything looks so perfect and then people start walking in your house and they're just throwing their coats and their purses on the counter and that like makes me kind of crazy. I, I'm sorry for all of you guests of mine who've done that because I'm not mad or anything. If I didn't make a clear place for you, I'm sorry. Make a very clear place for all of that to go. You could have a little sign that says, you know, coats and purses, first bedroom on the left or coat rack and then a table that says purses and bags here something like that that's number three is number four that's number eight number four make sure there's lots of little places in your house that people will be gathering that you have little bowls of food snack snack food so even if you have like a full catered party or you made all kinds of hors d'oeuvres for your party and they're in a certain area a certain table which makes perfect sense in other areas have like little bowls of maybe you know chocolate covered almonds or smoked almonds or m&ms or little reese's pieces <laughs> uh, chips crackers things like that just little finger foods like that and you might even want to put like little stacks of cocktail napkins next to these bowls just so so people have a place to put them or just very small little paper 
plates next to those bowls, something like that. Some place for them to put them other than just your hands. It's just, it's just your hands, it's just their hands. You should carry it around for them. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? Okay. Anyway. So hey, number... if you enjoy this video and wish to subscribe to my channel, which would be a good thing to do for more party advice or different celebration elevations, <laughs> uh, different ways to make your, your parties and events personal and different DIYs for party decorations or home decor or recipes, then subscribe to my channel. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. You can click on the little bell and it will notify you when I have more videos. Number five, empty all the trash cans and trash bins in your house. You don't want to start out with a half full trash can and when people are there, they're like, you know, it starts to get overflowing very quickly. So empty everything and then put some extra tra trash cans out in your house, like maybe where they even wouldn't be. So maybe one near the front door or one near the back door, one in the kitchen obviously, maybe a larger one than usual. Then also make sure they are all lined so it's easier to take the trash out during the party. You don't have to take the whole can out. You can just pull the plastic trash can trash bag <laughs> out and take that out. And then another good thing to do is take extra trash bags and put them them at the very bottom of your trash can and then put the open one over that so when somebody empties your trash takes that trash bag out there's another clean trash bag right under that and they can pick that up and put that in your trash can right then and another thing is ask somebody in your family or a friend or something to be sort of watching over the trash can so that that's not something an extra worry for you people don't mind helping you so don't don't hesitate to ask for something like that you know the people you can ask <laughs> okay number six number six if you're making food make it ahead of time if you're making like hors d'oeuvres or desserts or whatever find things that you can make ahead and then either just pop in the oven or can be served at room temperature but you don't want to plant yourself in that kitchen and everybody first of all has to gather in the kitchen to talk to you or even worse you don't get to talk to people because you were in the kitchen the entire time i remember a party we had kind of early on in my in my parties we had a lot of people over for like a cocktail party in the evening. And there were people that had been there that came into the kitchen and my, my house wasn't like an open concept house. So I could see in the kitchen, you could see, you know, the, the family room was right there and everything and the little kitchenette area was right there. But I was busy in the kitchen a lot of the time and I had guests that came to say goodbye to me and I didn't even know they were there the whole time. So I didn't even get to talk to them. So don't don't do that. that you want the party to be something you're going, going to enjoy as well. Get the food done ahead or you know have it brought in or whatever, but don't spend the time cooking food in the kitchen. And kind of along with that idea is number seven. We're on seven, right? Seven? Seven. Empty the dishwasher and get everything out of the way in your kitchen, anything that you've been using. Get that all out of the way and cleaned up before your guests come. And then while your guests are there, just either stack your stack things. First of all, it's best to use like paper plates because then you're not dealing with the dishes and, and all of that. If you're, whatever you're using, you're, you're eventually gonna have some things that are gonna need to get washed. So either stack them in your sink or just when they get stacked in your sink, go a few times and just throw them all in the dishwasher. Not even, you don't even have to rinse them. Just get them put away because you don't wanna be washing dishes while your guests are there. For one thing, again, it's taking you out of the party. And the second thing is when guests see you're in there washing dishes, they feel like oh god you know I don't want him or her to be stuck in the kitchen washing all the dishes so then they feel like they need to come and ask to help you and it's just something you, you don't want to deal with that you can deal with that later or the next morning but it's not important during your party just get it kind of put out of the way even like platters and stuff that get finished I would go and stack them on my washing machine or my dryer in the laundry room so that they're just out of sight 
So that's a big tip for that. Now we are on number eight. <laughs> eight. <laughs> eight is, what is eight? Oh, make signs. Make lots of signs. This you can do like if you have a Cricut machine, do it on your Cricut machine. If not, if you have uh, stencils, use stencils. If not, just use some poster board or card stock or anything. But you want to make some signs for things like this way for coats and purses. You know, like a sign that says coats and purses here and then like an arrow pointing to a room or a table or an area that they're supposed to go. A sign that says gift table if they're there's gifts at this party. A sign that says bathroom if or restroom if you have it down the hall and people are coming over that don't know where your bathroom is maybe. The signs that say like sangria so people know what's in that picture or lemonade without alcohol so people know that okay this drink is something that I can give to my daughter or I don't drink so I can drink this one sodas and waters and stuff like that in in ice chests which is a good thing to keep them in because you don't want people going in and out of your refrigerator the whole time and you want cold drinks if you have them in ice chests and they're not showing then label them sodas and water bottles in this or beer in this one or if you have like wine bottles and wine glasses in an area then just say help yourself to wine because you don't want to have to deal with pouring it for everybody. Leave the white wines in some holes uh, or ice buckets with ice, um, a towel there so they can wipe it off, and then also corkscrews so that they can get the bottles open. So that was number eight. Okay, number nine. Ha ask one or two of your friends or family to be in charge of taking pictures. You're gonna want pictures of this party. It is gonna go by like that. I'm hiccuping, I'm sorry, I'm hiccuping. Ask more than one person because likely one person will not remember a lot of the time or maybe they won't be involved with certain guests as much as somebody else because they don't know them as well. Ask a couple people who feel comfortable talking to people they may not know. <laughs> Ask them to take pictures for you and you can even do like a hashtag and whatever name your party something hashtag I don't know I'm not good at naming hashtags <laughs> so hashtag whatever party and then tell your guests maybe put a sign up that says hashtag hashtag <laughs> I can't think of something hashtag Paula's party I I don't know 2023 something like that and then put that up there and then your guests can maybe tag you in there you know like your Instagram handle and ask them to tag you in all their pictures whatever something like that ask somebody else to be in charge of pictures so you're not worrying about that and then number 10 last one number 10 is the bathroom so you definitely don't want to be dealing with your bathroom uh, so you want to label label and you want to put a sign on your bathroom door if it's not really obvious so that people know if that bathroom door is closed they're not trying to open it or whatever there make sure people know where the bathroom is another thing is make sure there's plenty of toilet paper in that bathroom and leave extra rolls in a place that people would absolutely look of whether it's like just right under the, the cabinet you know under the sink or if it's in a basket near on the back of the toilet where whatever Make sure there's plenty of soap in there and then um, clean towel and I even like during COVID times when I would have some gatherings, I would put paper towels, you can get them at Costco or whatever that go in like a paper, paper towel dispenser. <laughs> Sorry, dispenser. And they fit in something. You don't need to put it in a dispenser. Just set a stack of them in your bathroom and make sure you have a trash bin in your bathroom that's lined and that people can throw them away in. And that's always kind of nice. And another thing sort of on that topic, it's nice to have some hand sanitizer, like some nice Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer a few places in your house too so that people can just sanitize their hands. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I hope that these things have helped you. I think if you follow along with these 10 tips, things will go a lot smoother. Some of these are things that just you may not think about, especially if you don't have a lot of parties. And you know, it's easier to, to do it this way than to learn the hard way. And that's pretty much how I got all these tips is just from having parties and thinking, next time I'm gonna think of this. That's it for me. I hope you will 
enjoy your celebrations. Check my other videos for other fun things for your celebrations or parties, different things you can make for them. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you will use these tips to make your parties less stressful. Enjoy all the celebrations you have coming up right now. So join me next time. I'll have another video next week and I hope to see you then. Thanks guys. Bye.